Good morning everyone. Start of what's hopefully a huge day. First stop here. Got us a nice coon again just like we did yesterday. So glad to have him. Hopefully it's a huge day. We'll be getting down the road. There ain't many prettier sights than that right there guys. Two big jumbo, jumbo coon in this timber to timber culvert here. Uh, going down to a big creek bottom. So glad to have them. Two huge coon. We'll get them taken care of and get down the road. All right guys. Uh, down here in this creek here, we got us one nice big old boar there. Come over here and we got us another nice coon sitting here. So these are actually our first two coon along the water today. So it's a good sign. Glad to have them. We'll get them taken care of and get down the road. All right, guys, kind of surprised here. Uh, this disc cornfield here, I wasn't even going to set it at a mark for two. And I just put one here instead. And it's got us a nice big coon here today. So glad to have him. See the trail weaving up to the disc corn there from a timber draw. So get them taken care of and get down the road. All right, y'all, another timber to timber culvert here. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous big old fuzzball there. So you can kind of just see where they're working this low, low travel way. Nice big coon here. So get them taken care of and down the road. Coming down to another tube here. She looks all torn up. And there we got us another coon. Uh, nice to have them. There's actually a pond on the other side of the road on uh, the timber over here. So another timber to timber location. How old do you guys think that old trap and stake is right there? That's an old one. Get them taken care of and get out of here. We got us a gorgeous coon here, guys. Uh, coming underneath this cedar tree. Uh, just a cattle pasture on the other side. Not even a whole lot of trees. But there is a big building over there, so they could be running to that. Nice big coon. Got us a double here going to the cornfield. So not the biggest dudes in the world, but we'll definitely still take them. Uh, you guys can see county mowed this ditch off so glad i marked i uh, mapped out all these trails otherwise i would have probably never found these daggum things but we'll get them taken care of and get down the road nice double i'm quick all right guys got us two nice coon here oh we actually had a trail coming through right here and then we had another trail angling over here so i put a dp in both of them and we got two side by side going to this cornfield so glad to have them uh there the one's a really nice coon over here the other one's kind of smaller but still decent so we'll be getting down the road all right y'all we're on that infamous timber to timber stretch that i showed you guys last year it took a lot of coon off of it i'm really curious to see how it's going to do today first stop on it's got us a huge big bobtail boar so glad to have him we'll be getting down the road we're still along the timber to timber stretch she's whacking some coon today too uh just this deer trail majority are the of these are deer trails so glad to have him not bad color on this feller either uh not the biggest not the smallest so we'll be getting down the road well, we're working our way down the bridge here. See, we got us a big old jumbo sitting down here. Oh, this trail is just coming right up the bank here. Got a DP on the other side that doesn't have anything in it, but glad to have another coon. We're moving. We are stacking them. We got us yet another jumbo. Timber to timber culverts, guys. They're absolutely stacking them. I uh, see you set my other DP off, but you guys can see that trail weaving down through the bottom there. Awesome spot. All right, guys, heading down this bridge here. Uh, beaver's got it all dammed up, so we didn't even set the water's edge on this one. Uh, just the high bank, and we got us one coon here and another coon over on the other side, too. So I believe the other one's a nicer coon, too. So glad to have another double just running this high bank trail. We'll be getting down the road. All right, guys, trying to get down this cliff here. Got us a really, really beautiful colored one here, if I can get down here without getting attacked by him. Got us a nice one there. Head down to the water's edge here. We got number two, number three, and number four over here. So nice quad catch. Glad to have them. These three water ones are kind of small. That other one's huge though. So we'll get these suckers taken care of and get down the road. Chugging along this road at the very next stop after that quadruple. Got us another nice big, big boar here. So glad to have him. Trail's just weaving up there to that uh, little timbered up section there. Got a perpendicular fence and nice big coon. I'm a little out of breath. That high bank trail coon was a big one. So we'll be getting down the road. At the very next stop on this road, and we got another giant coon. You can really tell I've never hit this one before because holy cow, these last couple have been big, big coons. Glad to have them. All right, y'all. So we got... 10 locations on this road that we've been ripping down here. It's about two miles, two and a half mile road. Uh, and this is the 12th coon, this is the last stop. So 
not too shabby absolutely hammered them along here nice big kin get them taken care of and get down the road all right we are making our way down this disaster of a culvert here you guys can see all that rock they dumped down here but got us a nice kin sitting down here so glad to have them go into a, a pretty big cedar thicket at least for our area it's a pretty big cedar thicket uh with corn up there so nice kin at yet another timber to timber culvert i see one of the traps got set off and nothing in it down here not sure what's going on got us a nice coon laying low here glad to have man we've been hammering the coons today guys absolutely hammering them but we got to get rolling we'll get them taken care of and get down the road heading down to another timber to timber culvert things have actually slowed down a little bit uh, kind of interesting not 100 percent sure why but water seems to be slower We're probably gonna have to switch over to some uh some of that pace bait i've been telling you guys about for a while that worked really good on that smaller line i was running but for now we got us a nice coon here and we'll be getting down the road finally guys we got us a stinker here today it's taken a while uh timber to timber ridge running skunk kind of an interesting place at least for me to catch one uh it wouldn't be my typical skunk set i'll just say that but nice nice beautiful white white and black skunk here so we'll get them taken care of and get down the road all right coming down to the tube here got us a nice wow that's a beautiful coon sitting in this tube here so very glad to have him i kind of wanted to talk about I get a lot of grief for filling up my DPs. I spilled half a bait jar full of cat food around this yesterday. And well, we still got a coon here today. So it don't matter how much bait you're using, guys. I promise you that. Just do whatever you want to do. But nice big coon here. We'll get him taken care of and get down the road. Got us a nice trail coming through on an old, old farmstead here. Got us a nice big coon crossing over to cut corn. So nice big coon too. They're just going underneath that little square mesh fence there. So we'll get them taken care of down the road. All right, we're making our way down to the, whoa, the culvert here. Try not to completely biff it. I'm wondering if there's two, that chain looks tight into the tube. So we will, you guys can see that trail coming up uh, from that draw. We got one there and we got a nice big boy sitting up in that tube there. So nice double heading over to corn. We'll be getting down the road. If you guys remember, I always talk about my absolute favorite spot. Timber to timber. Caught about 16 coon off of this last year. I'll give or take a couple. I know I know it was at least 16. So we got one there and another double or another coon sitting down in the tube down there. So another double guys, we're ripping them. We'll be getting down the road. We got us one coon here going up to the bales and this beat down path. We will come over here to the other side of the road. We got us another one sitting here. Uh, coming from some old buildings. Going to some more buildings and all those bales and junk over there. So we'll get these two taken care of and get down the road. All right, guys. Here's load number one for the day. Uh, we're only about two-thirds done. So we'll get these suckers taken out of here and get moving. We got a lot more to do yet. All right, we're back rolling again. Uh, first load was 98 got us a nice big coon here so he's number 99 so we'll be getting down the road guys we got to get moving oh looky here got us a 220 coon that's nice uh first 220 coon i've caught in a little while now so not the biggest coon in the world but we will surely take him and yes i don't have my setters with me <laughs> those got left at home but probably will be coming tomorrow for sure i just forgot to throw them in the truck this morning so this coon kind of ruined the trail i had the 220 set up right up here and whacked him he flopped down and we'll just have to move our pinch point up here a little bit if we can get that 220 in there So that's coon number 100 for the day right there. I believe that's my fifth day over 200 this year. I'd have to, I think. Pretty sure, pretty sure guys. Love it. Absolutely love it. Hammering them in December. We'll get out of here. Got us one nice coon here. Walk about 30 feet over. 
we got us another nice coon hiding here so get these two taken care of and get down the road well we're in some pretty open country now uh we got us a nice coon sitting here just because it's open don't mean that there ain't coon here uh and we got us a nice one here they're probably living in this tube right here as you can see there's a little bit of sign down here so nice coon we'll be getting down the road well we're boogieing right along uh trying to beat dark here i seen we got old mr stinker hiding in the culvert there so we'll get him dispatched here and i'll pull him out and give you guys a better look well guys hopefully he's done for here i uh, he did let out a little bit not too bad beautiful skunk too man oh man gorgeous boy i can smell them now woof you know just in this culvert going underneath this gateway those always do fairly good for me on skunks no i'm not a I don't really ever intend to catch skunks but these gateways like this i like to set them because i seem to catch skunks there so well i showed you guys this 220 set yesterday uh the one going <clears throat> over the tube does not have one uh i showed you guys i fluffed up along the side here to try and kind of narrow down where they were going and we got this coon here not a huge one but it's another coon and with the, the size of the majority of the coon that we caught today I'm okay with a couple small ones. For sure. Just glad to be 220 and coon again. Just a little boar here, it looks like. Man, there's some stout 220s. Brand new as of last summer. So they're strong. But we will get this trap reset here. I already lost track of where we're at again as far as numbers go. So that's always nice. At least that's how you know it's it's a good day right that's how i'll look at it anyways more like an absolute beating but we'll get this 220 plink back in here fluff this grass along the side back up to try and get them to do what that one just did we will run this grass through over here kind of get them semi-guided through there and we'll get another big old clump of grass for this other side just to make sure they're not trying to weave around me there we go we'll be getting down the road well well got us another big this sucker's actually laying pretty low <laughs> nice big coon though growly guy really skinny for some reason kind of interesting but we'll get him taken care of him down the road this is what i like to see right here guys two huge huge big boars running this trail over top of this tube now we got corn over here too so two jumbos we'll get them taken care of and get down the road that is a gorgeous sight well guys we're starting to wind down the day here uh, another nice big coon here a lot of good sized coon today uh, running this ridge over to a cornfield uh, through a gateway on the other side so another nice coon got us a 220 coon here I'm going to be kind of quiet. We got a deer hunter just down the road from me here. Come around here. Another 220 coon here going up underneath this evergreen on this ridge. So we'll get them out of here and get down the road. Had this 220 sitting right there where my rat stretcher is. And flop down out of the trail. Boy, that's an interesting colored coon there. What in the world did we just catch? I don't that might be a cinnamon that's got to be a cinnamon or something what an odd colored coon very interesting I th i'm 99 percent sure that that's cinnamon face coon or close very very odd color that's awesome i would be more excited but i've taken an absolute beating all day i'm tired look at that thing i know you guys can't see very well uh it's getting pretty dark now but i wasn't even expecting that i just turned the camera on and show you guys another 220 coon that's awesome that one's will be getting tan that is a unique feller there first true color phase of the year we'll take that there's just this little divot where they're going through 
side of the road here. I had that baby plinked right in there. I don't even really hardly need to block anything off, but we're gonna go get some grass. Uh, grab another handful while I'm down here where the good stuff is. Try and get the stuff that kind of blends in with what's around this for so it looks somewhat natural. There we go. We're getting out of here. I'm gonna have to check with some people. That is a unique feller there. What a day, guys. We came home with 131 coon today. Oh, not, not even sure where that puts me at. I gotta, gotta do some math here real quick. Uh, let me, we're at 15, 24, plus 131 so we're at 1655 on the year guys heck of a day today you can you can just see all these jumbo for the most part mostly just jumbo huge huge coons uh, come over here here's a bunch of stuff this is all 220 stuff actually here's that really cool coon uh, it's not a cinnamon i don't think really really odd color very odd Definitely one getting tanned for sure. Really cool looking dude there. So, and then we had nine possums and two skunks. So, awesome day. Awesome day. Absolutely hammered them. Uh, that's the best day I've done in December by far. Phenomenal day. Uh, but the weather's right and they're moving and it's time to get after them. So, anyways, y'all, until tomorrow, thanks for watching.